That's Hellhole, right, Mike Del Tufo? Yes. From This Is Spinal Tap in 1984, we then had to wait till 1992 for Break Like the Wind, and then in 2009, Back from the Dead, and ever since then, we were wondering what was uh, Derek Smalls was up to. We wonder no more, because I have right here uh, on the desk the new album, Smalls Change, and uh, Meditations Upon Aging, and the man, the myth, the legend himself, Derek Smalls, here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, sir? I'm great. I'm really great. I feel great. I look great. It's I great. Would, I agree. The whole Thank thing you. is great. The whole thing is great. So what what caused you to want to get back in the studio and, and chop it up again, Derek? Well, you know, the band, we, we've we dissolved so many times. We don't break up. You know, it's not the, you bastard, you bush, you, you son of a bitch, and you start throwing things because we don't, never had that many things to throw. So it, it just after 2009, you mentioned, mm -hmm. we played Glastonbury Festival in outside London and we played the Wembley Arena in London. So mm -hmm. whether you were out of London or in London, there we were. <laughs> and I thought, right, here we go. Tap 3.0 or 4.2 or and whatever. And what happened? Exactly. That was my question. <laughs> I was sitting by the phone mm -hmm. waiting for it to ring. Yeah. And it doesn't ring. And so I do the natural thing. I call it the telephone company. <laughs> And they say, it's not us, <laughs> which they always say. But yeah. in this case, it was true. Uh -huh. And I just realized the band had dissolved again. And it's, it, we're like if you put a, a little cube of sugar yes. in a, a saucer of warm coffee, mm -hmm. it'll be there for a while. And then you turn around later. Dissolved. Yeah, that's it. That's tap. That's tap. So I looked at the saucer, and that was what I saw. Mm -hmm. And I thought, right, I have to do something else. So I went to the Netherlands. Because <laughs> it's so close, yeah. And uh, got involved in television. Mm -hmm. I was I was a judge on a, a reality competition show called Rock Stars with a Z. You oh. call you call it a Z, <laughs> uh, but it's still you know it's the well, it's, it's the, the Zorro. Sure. For the of for you, of course, yeah. Yeah, and I was good at that. I was my co-judge was this very amazing chick singer. I, can I say that? Sure, go for it, it's, Derek. It's sports here. I, yeah, can, say, yeah, I yeah. can say chick singer. Sure. Uh, who was a uh, lead uh, singer in a, a, a neo-punk band called Hot Garage. <laughs> and uh, we were getting it on. We were, you know, we were beating the hell out of Dutch Idol. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden they come in one day and say, we're going a different way. We're going to be tomorrow's hip-hop heroes with a Z. <laughs> So I, it was a it was a case. I figured it out later. It's a case of either they kept me or they kept the Z. And unfortunately, yeah. you got thrown overboard for the so Z. So I was I was I moved. I have a friend Eddie Dregs who lives in Albania, <laughs> and he has a a neo a near death metal band, a mm -hmm. near death metal called uh, Chainsaw Vermin. And I was hanging out with him and thinking this can't be all yeah. there is to it. This can't be the way it ends for old Derek. And all of a sudden, I saw this. Uh, advert for the British Fund for Aging Rockers, <laughs> which they, you know, they'd had all this austerity in, in Great Britain, so there's all, sure. all this money left over. Yes. And they were giving grants to aging rockers. Well, who else have they given grants to, Derek? Well, I think I was the first. <laughs> so you were, if you don't mind me mixing metaphors, the George Washington of that uh, situation? I was the Charles the first of it. The, okay, yeah. okay, I'm, I understand. Yeah, that. okay. Yeah. We don't like to talk about George Washington. <laughs> I didn't it mean still, it's still it's, it's a, a source too, it's still a sore soon? subject too soon. It's, too soon. Too soon, guys. Too it's soon. too soon so who from spinal tap is is the one who's do you think is the one i don't mean to mix it up here i don't mean to create any issues between you and maybe your long time uh colleagues but Nothing. who's the one that's preventing uh maybe a reunion here derek <clears throat> that's a good question uh uh so good that i don't really know the answer to it <laughs> nigel i know has got his hands full. He's he's uh, yeah. been breeding miniature livestock for a few years down in, in Berkshire, <laughs> right. and so he's he's got his thing. You know, guitar players are excessive people by nature. You would that's what you were doing. Yeah, when, when I was you, doing my steel. When Panther you were doing thing. your steel Panther, you were being excessive. That's how you said I'm a guitar player, not by actually playing, <laughs> but by being excessive, right? Yes, sure. Right. right. So that's Nige. You know, mm -hmm. he's pushing it. He's always pushing the envelope right. and, and sometimes just throwing the envelope away and sending the, the thing without an envelope. Mm -hmm. So he's he's got these little miniature goats now that are very <laughs> cute, but they're too small to milk. He's just pushing it, you know. <laughs> David, I have no idea. I have no idea. Where he is. Oh, well, I mean, I get these... I don't use the... In, I don't use the internet 
uh, because I was addicted. That's right. I heard that that you yeah. went to you went uh, therapy to therapy for addiction to the internet. It was a, a, a place out in the countryside called Crosswinds, <laughs> and uh, it was two two bouts of it. Uh huh. And so I don't use the internet. But David sent me these letters yes. in the post sometimes. Yeah. Right. So I'm thinking, great. Let's see what David's got to say. Right. Sure. And I open them up. And it's always the same thing. What it's, is it? it's Chinese pictograms. <laughs> bloody Chinese bloody pictograms, which I don't read. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of that. Sure. But uh, so I don't know if he's saying, ah. let's get back together or great new record mate or send me the duck and some dim sum. You know, <laughs> I have no, no bloody idea. So. Derek Smalls of Spinal Tap here on The Rich Eisen Show. Is it true that Spinal Tap was once upon a time, under consideration to play a Super Bowl. Is well, under consideration is what we thought. That's mm -hmm. what they told us. Um, we went in and, and played our set, mm -hmm. uh, and we got a couple notes back. Uh, too f loud was one of them. <laughs> uh, and that was one. Yeah, do you have to bleep that? You, we will subsequently. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. all right. But that's what they said. <laughs> yeah. They talk like footballers, you know. That's the way footballers talk. And then the second thing was um, their lawyer rang up. Yes. And they said, we're going to have to be held harmless or wavered or immune, immunized, immunated or something like that. Right. Against if anything happens to the drummer. And? And we said, well, we can't do that. We can't make, make you know, the NFL hole or whatever it is, <laughs> you know. It's like, what would that cost? You know, in a bloody Super Bowl. Oh, they're going to come at us and say, oh, you ruined our Super Bowl with your dead drummer. Uh, <laughs> you owe us four billion pounds or whatever. You know, it sure. was just that. It sort of made no sense, it, and, and they moved on. Do we know who they – was that was that the year they went with Michael Jackson instead? It was instead? Michael Jackson, yeah. Yeah, and he didn't have a drummer. So <laughs> I guess that didn't have the problem, you know. Yeah, that might have been it. Yeah. Well, it would have been amazing. It would have been amazing, and it would have been bloody loud too. So uh, you're wearing your, uh, it looks like you've got some kit on here. Uh, some gear. Underneath your rocker. Some gear, some yeah. Gear. What yeah. do you have on there, I have Derek? the Shrewsbury Shrews uh, jersey, uh -huh. which is, uh, I don't know if you follow the Shrews. I don't follow the Shrews. What, uh, what league is the Shrewsbury Shrews in? <clears throat> they are in League One in uh, British football, uh -huh. which contrary to what you might think is not the, the top. Uh -huh. The Premier League is the top. Sure, yes. And League One is three levels down from that. So, are you saying the Shrews have been relegated multiple times over? Is I think they've been re, re, re relegated. <laughs> but they've. Here's the thing about the Shrews. Yes. Because you're laughing. So the Shrews I mean, have the record still standing. Yes. For the most times a British team has beaten, uh, an English team mm. has beaten the Welsh team. A is Welsh that, team. Is that right? Yeah. Six. No kidding. Yeah. So, the all, almighty Shrews. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to no, scoff. Hell, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Sh to, hell, to, to, hell, to scoff. Hell shrews. So I, I. I got into the shrews. Yeah. So to speak. Yes. Um, about sixty-two. You know, Elton John had just bought a, a football team. Yeah. We call it football. You call it soccer. Yeah. Um, and I thought, well, that's what a rocker does, right? Yes. So I saw the original shrews jersey, and I thought. I like the look of that jersey. Mm -hmm. I'll buy that team. And now look at you. Well, I didn't buy the team. <laughs> but I got they give me the jersey. So that's it. So at least you got that going for you. I got it. that going. Who else, uh, before I let you go, Derek, yes. who else is on this album with you? Steve, how long do you have? Yeah, go for it. Steve Vai, Steve, uh, Joe Satriani, mm -hmm. Steve Lukather, Richard Thompson, Dweezil Zappa, all on guitars, mm -hmm. uh, Taylor Hawkins, Chad Smith, Jim Keltner, Greg Bissonette, some of the drummers, Rick Wakeman, Paul Schaefer, keyboard players, David Crosby, David Bloody Crosby, mm -hmm. Donald Bloody Fagan vocalizing with this. Wow. It's, it's pretty much all star. Fantastic. Yeah. Available where all music is sold? It's extremely available. <laughs> <laughs> Smalls change. Derek Smalls, it's been an honor to have you here, thank sir. Thank you, Rich. It's been great to Th be with you. Thank you very much. Uh, the man who uh, first uh, leapt onto the scene with the all white Jamaican band Scarface. Uh, before joining Lamb's Blood, the Christian heavy metal band. Yeah. And then... Whole Lot of Lord was our hit. Was that what it was? Whole Lot of Lord, yeah. And then Tap. Yeah. Uh, good to see you, sir. Great to see you. Derek Smalls here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.